Because I know it wasn't American. Mm -hmm. I, I know it was some base somewhere. Right. Uh, and, and when I went to Pastor Jens, I, I said, no, I ain't asking that because I ain't seen I need to ask that here. Mm -hmm. So I was anxiously waiting to come here. Mm -hmm. But you know how they think go when you read by Pastor yes. Jen and, oh, yes. oh, and yes. Dan, they want to take out a pity and everything. And mm -hmm. you know, I couldn't deny them because they think running away that I couldn't sneak out. Mm -hmm. Because they're anxious because, you know, I am so impressed with, with, with Porter. I can tell she's a woman of order, she's a woman of love. And I needed to see the source. And I come here and I bounce up, come is young. Hallelujah. And I say, well, double love, double love. You know, and, and you know, I was almost brought to tears just now with your reception. Because I felt the love. Amen. And it is good to feel love. Yes. You know, you know, a lot of times this tone that the builder refuses uh, really has the ability to become a head corner stone. Because when you know how to be rejected, then you know how to be accepted. Amen. Uh, because sometimes the things that you are denied in your youth. Yes allows you to know to cherish things as you mature. Yes. And, 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 and that's why we must understand that in this life we must understand purpose. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to listen to the minister speak and say, you have a tongue voice, so I know <laughs> you have something inside there. And then when I hear him speak a little more, you know, I didn't need to ask the question again because he, he, he said it. Now the first thing I look at in our house is to see the order in the house. Hallelujah, because a house without order will not stand. I don't care how much gift the house has. Are you with me? A house that has no order will not stand. It's going to be a whole heap of spiritual garbage one day. And I say that with no apology. Because we must have order in the house. And, and I sat there and you know, he said, you know, you know, search, I, I love to search. I, I, I don't go anywhere without searching. I don't go anywhere without searching. I sat there and I look at you behind and I say, if you have that office and you can sit behind there, that starts showing me humility. Come on now. And then I hear you talk. And when I hear you talk, I say, that's, that's a powerful woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and you know, God tell me that you don't do healing enough. And that's something he gave you to do. And you don't get into the healing enough. I, I, I just say it as God had me talking. And, and God said that you are a woman of faith. So then I know you have already been through some stuff, trust me. I, I, I know you have been tossed by the waves. Oh, Jesus, have mercy. And, and, and you know, as, as you all were preparing for the, for, for, for the Lord's Supper, I remember in the Bible it says that Paul had some challenges with the people yes, yes. when they were coming to partake of the Lord's Supper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said that one take it before the other and another. One is empty and one is full. Yes. And, and, and I had to research that because it didn't fit in right. And it's then I understood that they used to have fellowship before communion. People used to bring things to eat and drink and, yeah. and they used to have fun and think and what happened they really were prepared. Mm -hmm. Are you, you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. But people used to be prepared yeah. before they take off the Lord's Supper. Uh -huh. and, and, and that was such a great test for people because 
I did a song one of my lives. I, I explained to people that, you know, if, if we three had children going to university, we would automatically click. Right. Hallelujah. Right. And if you three had sportsmen, you would automatically click. Right. But what would happen is one group started to think they were better than the other. Uh, so, so they decided we would keep the best for ourselves. So they started to segregate. And, and, and what happened is Paul was saying, listen, this thing is not about segregation. This thing is about unifying the body. Because there's one body. And, and I often tell people, I do not care how gifted you are. I can tell you that a lot of gifted people in the church just get trouble. Yes, come on. The people that are gifted always believe you need them more than God needs them. Hallelujah. And, and that's why a lot of them end up in some situation and then they have to be dragged back to the church by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. They always run out. Now, now we, and I'm, I'm not saying that they, they are those that don't possess that. What I'm saying, you know, it, 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 it just goes with the territory. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 And they get to the one they don't think they need to train. Yeah. Hallelujah. I ever noticed some people when they, they're good at something, they don't take time to train until one day when they get the spotlight uh, and, and they boss. Yeah. And then they realize, oh my God, right. that God put them to shame. Mm -hmm. Then they realize. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and we we somehow fail to understand that when we talk about eating and drinking, right. we actually talking about preparing your body mm -hmm. to be a living sacrifice. Right. Can I say that, church? Yeah. Yeah. We must understand that once you have partaken of this tough year, it means you must now go outside there and be tried and be tested and you must not be found wanting because you would have been placed in a position where Christ himself and the Holy Ghost will be standing with you saying, just hit me, let me turn the other cheek. Oh, you don't miss that, you know. What I'm saying is that you must not allow yourself to give in to temptation. The thing about us as Christian people, for some reason, we just do not know how to turn the other cheek. Now, turning the other cheek really means don't retaliate. Hallelujah. It's not literally nobody slapping you, you know, because I tell you, I, uh, you, you out there and somebody slap me, so they could have some trouble. <laughs> They're going to have some trouble. Yeah, right, right. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh -huh. And they will get a holy slap back. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. And, then I, and then I will get some water and say, may the Lord bless you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah. Yes. I, I'm just saying we must come to the knowledge yeah. of the truth. Yeah. Don't say you want to know God and want to know him halfway. Right. Anything. I, 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 I am a tailor by trade. And everybody that trained under me, I can't beat them in a race so in pants. Mm -hmm. I taught them. Oh, oh, don't miss that. No. <laughs> I, 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 you see, I'm not teaching you to be under me. Oh, Jesus. I'm not teaching you to be under me. When I start to teach you, I'm teaching you because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. And I know that I'm a succession planning is already put in line in this house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I want to tell you, some of you have been watched for elevation of all right. Some of you are sitting here, a couple of you, young ladies, you are being watched to start as a deaconess. Hallelujah. And then you will work your way up. So you don't know how. I don't know how to walk. Yeah. And you know how to talk. Uh, my mother had a way. 
She used to give me some just in case licks. You know, but I used to get just in case licks in Trinidad. Oh Jesus, I can imagine. When you get in just in case licks, what happens is really a reminder to be good. Are you with me? Yes. So you just have to remember, be good. Yeah. And that is what God does with us. Mm -hmm. eh? uh -huh. The Bible says, whom God loves it, he chastens. He chastens. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. And because of that, it doesn't mean that God allows us to do some stuff and then, you know, it means that he knows that we are going to stray from what we're supposed to do. And as we stray from what, he's, what we are supposed to do, he has no choice but to bring us back to the fold. That's why, you know, it says, my shepherd will supply my need. Yes. Jehovah is name. In pastures fresh, he makes me beside the living tree. There, there's a little video all over YouTube, Facebook, wheresoever, with a sheep that this man goes down in a trench. He takes the sheep up, put it on the bank, and by the time he's coming out of the bank, the sheep go on and jump right back in the trench and let them lower down. And I say, Jesus, have mercy. That's really what we do. That's really what we do. But there's something else about a sheep that I learned. I learned it some, some years back, but them time I wasn't interested in this business. They say sheep, blood. Is an anti venom to snakes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And I dive in that. It's not a good plan. <laughs> it's not a dog plan. It's not a big elephant to a lion plan. Uh, because I saw a lion got sting by a, 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 the black man and he died. So I know, I know the lion blood don't have to antibody. But, but somehow God had put something in a sheep. Now let's take the spirit of that thing. There is something that God would have put in you that will not allow you to die when you come from the enemy. When you get a sting of a turban. When that enemy would have crossed your body. When that enemy would have left you for dead, God says, Now is my turn. That's why you can say, Look at me now. Hallelujah. I ever have some friends, and when they was in school, they were brighter than you. You when they were most likely to succeed. You were most likely to fail. Yes. Uh, when, when, they, when they were, oh, can I go here? All these sexy girls. And you was kind of stout and instead of you know, 36, 26, 36, you were like 40, 39, 40. And they were watching you like, Look at the, I still so. You could be part. I like to like blue talk. But you see, what people don't know is that when you got some stuff, you need to work on it to maintain it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And the nicer girls, the, the nicer girls just go everywhere, right? Yeah. But the good girls just go to heaven. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And you keep focusing on heaven yeah. so you didn't get greedy. And just so your body started to change going into your 20s. Yes. And just so while your body was going in gear, their body, their body was coming out of gear. <laughs> Hallelujah. Woo! So when they were in their 20s, they were 22. Uh, drop out of university with two children. And you were 18. Getting one subject 19, one subject 20, one subject 21. By 22, you had an associate. Oh, Jesus. And by 25, you are now going for your bachelor's. And they were, they were looking at a married man instead of a bachelor. Hallelujah. And they crashed. And you just took a flight. Oh, Jesus, have mercy. Can somebody praise the Lord? I, I, I often tell people, 
I love Paul. Because when Paul had to be a Roman, he spoke like a Roman. When Paul had to be a Jew, he spoke like a Jew. When Paul had to mix with the Gentile, he spoke as a Gentile. But I want to tell you one thing about Paul. In all occasions, he was eloquent in speech. He knew when to say and what to say. And that's why I love the truth of Paul. Because the truth of Paul is, is second to none. Him. I don't care about this, this disciple that Jesus loved that leaned on his breast. Right, right. He had his place. Yeah. But after him came Paul. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I said it this morning, and I'm going to say it again in the first chapter of the book of Timothy. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Paul had to make a declaration. And the declaration he made is that he had this old Timothy. I'm esteeming you now. Because you see, you see, when you have people in your church that are really trying to do it right, you have to encourage them. Sometimes to encourage them, you have to push them hard. And sometimes to encourage them, you have to push them so. Mm -hmm. But in either case, you have to push them. Yes. Yes. He said, I know how your grandmother walk. Mm -hmm. And I know your mother walk. Because they are holy women. Mm -hmm. You know that what he was telling Timothy? It's in your blood. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Timothy has sheep blood. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, Timothy. You come from a special kind of people. Mm -hmm. yeah, you, you, your walk is a special kind of walk. Your talk is a special kind of talk. In other words, you're highly gifted and you're favored by God. You need to be steadfast and unmovable. Oh, Jesus, always abounding. Oh, Jesus, you had to be that type of man. Because you have a work to do. And I know that you're young. And I need to let you know what's going on. Because I want that when I I here to tell you nothing, you must always remember. It has some things that people tell you don't ever forget. Hallelujah. It has some things. You know, my mother used to tell me as a young man, she saw me, don't ever hit a woman. She said, I have sisters and they wouldn't want to hear. Nobody hit your sister. And that never left me. Hallelujah. I recently had to deal with some situations and I had to go back and research some stuff and in researching that stuff, I realized that one of the big problems with people in this world is they don't know how to forgive. Uh, unforgiveness go mash up a church. Unforgiveness go mash up your life. Unforgiveness go mash up you and your wife. <laughs> And I went to my YouTube mentor and he said, teach people how to empty. Oh, Jesus. People walking around filled with garbage. They're walking around filled with lead. Uh, uh, and the thing is, they don't even know. Some of them, they trying to empty, but they don't know how because they never Jesus. knew how yeah. to empty. Yeah. And to be able to be to empty, mm -hmm. your grace, you must be able to be breakable. Yeah. Yeah. Your heart, mm -hmm. your heart must be able to be broken. Mm -hmm. Jesus said. My body was broken for your sins. Yes. In other words, the things that my body went through, yes. it wasn't even for my own thing because I didn't have none. Yes. But 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 I, I know I know that you will get it in time to come. You, you see, you must know that you are a work in progress. You must know that you are the handiwork of God. You you this 
shaping sin and iniquity. Let me put that aside for a while. The Bible says that he came, that all should have life, and they should have it more abundantly. And, and, and this thing that you keep missing is that the kingdom of God is at hand, is reachable. The kingdom of God is inside of you. Why? It, it means that you don't have to go nowhere. That's why you don't have to go to the priest, but you must understand the work of the priest in the church. If you used to come to church, just like how we were hearing uh, the speaker speaking just now, if we used to come to church and just hear a voice without a TV or mic system, I think church would have been a very scary place. Basically, what happened is that when the vessel speak, we know the vessel. Sometimes we know where the vessel comes from. We know the vessel had a breakup with her wife. We know the vessel remarried. We know something happened with the vessel husband. We know something happened with the vessel child. We know something, so we, we don't want to take the word. So we don't think it's unadulterated. We think that that word is a challenge word because I know the person. Hallelujah. Uh, I see you choking one another in church. And not to say I'm direct from Trinidad. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I could, I could say that because I've done it. I often tell people I don't speak things like if I'm better than nobody. You know. And I some stuff that I know I did. And I know God showed me that wrong. So I want you to know too that if it's wrong, it's wrong. <laughs> Hallelujah. When the corners in this bend... You could do what you wanted. Can I get a circle, you know? Right. To get a circle, you had to come and get some instruments, and it will never be the same. It's going to be smaller. Right. So you want to know for yourself what you want from your life. Yeah. Shall we continue in sin? Mm. That grace may have one. God forbid. Hallelujah. God, God forbid. Yes. And, and, and my word to you today for this church is that you know try to see the vision Amen. this church is functioning with that vision yes. and if nothing I know I know that the Archbishop not going to let nobody play with it Amen. I can tell you that yes. whether you the brother <laughs> whether it's the sister or the sister, right? Whether it it, it, it has no family in this room, no. come clean and that is good leadership. Come on, that is good leadership. When people could see that you're rebuking family, yeah. they will say, Nah, yeah. I can stay under this leadership. Yeah. And there will always be the elements that will come to try. Because it's, it's important to be tried. Yes. When you're being tried, you know where you stand. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes we don't understand that those that are trying us are more important than the friends in the church. Mm -hmm. Sometimes friends always say, you want to do that? You go ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right. You, you want to do that? You, you, that's only good. Go ahead. Yeah. When you expect it, yeah. when you expect it to, to hear them, nope. hear them, let me know. <laughs> Are you right or die? <laughs> you say, you say, kill, I say, bury. <laughs> eh? you, you, you know, that kind of way is what you look for. Everybody does look for that in the church. You know? yes, yes. Everybody does look for somebody in the church yes, yes. that could really stand up with them. Mm -hmm. Somebody that didn't know what you meant 20 years in the church. Nobody can come out for your name, sister. Nobody can come and tell me Alison say that because I know what Alison will say from what Alison will say. So don't come and try and put me against Alison. Because me and Alison, we that my dog. I'm a dog. Me and Alison. Me and me and Alison. So you can't come and tell me nothing about Alison. And you can't tell Alison nothing about me. Because we know. We know who we are. In Christ, Hallelujah. we walk in the walk and we talk in the talk, and because we're doing that, we're going down together. And if you, you see, people people didn't understand the work of Caleb and Joshua. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Joshua, Joshua, Joshua knew his place, but Caleb knew his place better than Joshua. Hallelujah! And I want to tell you, had it not been for Caleb, Joshua would never have been successful. Hallelujah! 
Because, because Caleb, I, I, I did this and I live you know, I said Caleb was Joshua conscience. Yes. Yes. Right or die. Hallelujah. When, when that guy went into the tent, when they got the instructions, when they go to I, don't take nothing. Oh Jesus. Nothing. Just do what you had to do and come out. But I, I couldn't pass I. He said, now what? This cup nice. This robe nice. First he foolish. Where are you going to wear a Babylonian robe? <laughs> As soon as you put it on, they run into Joshua. Joshua, is not a news carrier, not like the Amalekite who went to David. I want to tell David, well, I saw your enemy's soul, and 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 I know, and he, he only said in mind is, oh God, I, I might get a cup, I might get a robe, I might get a ring, and David going to really reward me here, and he and he said a nice of the thing. I'm telling David all what. Uh, well, 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 David already have missed this. <laughs> I saw Saul and Jonathan, right? Yeah. And we'll be telling David, right? right. And David say, right. Yeah. And I know that your enemy, right? right? And David was like, right. right. <laughs> and I see him wounded. Yeah. David was like, right. mm-hmm. Yeah. And I know that is all them years and troubles he give you. So hear what? I'm going to finish the job for you. And watch when look, I come now. Look, I have proof. I have proof. Sometimes when we run, we mount in church. Oh, Jesus. Expect him to get favor. It's a dangerous thing to run your mouth in church against the Lord's anointed. You see, you might be doing a good thing one way, but the elder don't know you just run mouth. <laughs> Hallelujah. And David said, you dare put your hand on the Lord's anointed. No matter what the minister them doing, do we fast and out of place. No matter what the elders in church doing, do we fast on out of place. Right. And let me tell you this, and don't forget it, eh? you ain't walk the walk, them walk yet. Right. Right. The, the mistakes you are about to make, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you might be so ashamed you will stop coming to church. Wow. So remember, the Amalekite got killed. They will say, they will not even have time to do the work. He said, watch man. Put him, the, the statement was, let him fall on his sword. Yes. And he fell on his sword and he died. Yes. And the Bible said, David went and fast. Mm -hmm. And he weep. And all the men weep. Because why? They are not, sometimes people don't even know the love that you have for them and they're prosecuting you. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Sometimes you're showing people love and they're prosecuting you. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 I want to share this with you as a testimony. And then I will take my seat. Praise God. Praise I pastored a church in Trinidad for 17 years. I came from Mount Pisgah in Faisabad. I went to, uh, as a deacon, they sent me to a church in Penal. I know I know what you know. I don't take any of anything. Well, I could tell that, right? Yeah, yeah. I hear you. I real cool and humble. Me too. But see when it comes to the business of God. <laughs> you see when it comes to the business yes. of God. Yes. You better you better get your coordinates right. Yes. When God tells you to tell me something, right. because watch me, I had to come right. Yes. And, and, and the mother in the church started to, we had an issue about something on the altar. And a meeting was called, and when the meeting was called, uh let me say I win the conversation. <laughs> I win the conversation. And she found I was just a deacon. 
uh, I can't win no conversation with her because she had the bishop's friend. Mm -hmm. And the meeting took place on a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the Lord Bishop of the Mission told her, it is finished. I'm using my authority here. This is what he said and that's what we're working with. And by the Saturday, I was given a letter saying, go back to the church I come from. Mm -hmm. No protocol taken. And Ella said to me, she said, you want to take it up? I said, take it up for what? She gave me the, 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 the bishop number. She said, call that the friend bishop now. She said, call him. Mentor. He said, I cannot take your word. Mm. The man that called the shot is a bishop. Mm. And you is just a... I said, all right. I left that there, and then I was transferred to the church where I spent some. As a matter of fact, I was... Station at the Archbishop of the Diocese as Bishop Ivan Lancaster Church for 17 years. Mm -hmm. And because I cannot say the proper detail, I would say that when 17 years had reached, that was just before COVID, mm -hmm. God wanted to take me to a different place. Mm -hmm. And when God wants to do some stuff with you, mm -hmm. He does burn some bridges. Yeah. Right. You know that said, don't burn bridges. God does burn some bridges because He know He don't want you to go back to some places. And the situation, I often tell people, anytime you want to take somebody down, it's impossible for you to take somebody down without taking yourself down. Yes. You cannot. I cannot come and complain about this mother to this mother. When this mother bringing the case up, she about you, she have to call me. Yes. yes. I am the witness, so I have to be there. Present. You can't, I can't take her down without taking myself. And even though I give you the work, when you get called, you're going to call my name. Uh -huh. Because it will be me and you sinking, or you sinking. You will say, watch me, I not taking that alone. Rev, you had to sink with me, you know, boy. And when I reach there, you're watching me like, oh, you didn't know. You didn't know. And in 2019, God said to me, take the social media. Because there are people that will not come to the church because right. the church has failed them. Yeah. Yeah. This is the exact words. Eh? Yes. The church yeah. has failed them, and I want you mm -hmm. to take the word to them. Yeah. Now, when I was commissioned to preach by the Spirit of John the Baptist, he said, do not compromise with the word. Right. I had to preach and compromise for 17 years. Mm -hmm. Everybody can say what they want in the church except in me. Right. And I was the pastor of the church, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And God has put me in a place, I don't mind the controversy. Right. Hallelujah. Right. I'm equipped. Yeah. I'm equipped, but the bottom line is I'm equipped with love. Amen. Amen. So that if, 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 if you take it personal, it might just be the word interfering with you. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Hallelujah. It might just yes. be that the word yes. interfered with you. Yes. So you had to find a way to discredit yes. the word of God yes. through the vessel. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. But, but when the word meets you, yes. let it change you. Right. When the word meets you, let it change you. I do not speak my words. I speak wow. the words that God put in my mouth. Yes. Hallelujah. Wow. I'm not going to come to tell you about um, Adultery. <laughs> Sometimes I don't tell you. Horning. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Can I show you that in the Bible? Can, can I show you that in the Bible? <laughs> Jesus was trying to get some people to understand the world. Yeah. He said the world is the field. Mm -hmm. And then he said the wheat and the tear had to work together. Right. He said to another one, you have five husbands. Mm -hmm. He said to another one, you're searching for a piece of silver. Mm -hmm. And I can go on and on yeah. right. and on and on. What Jesus did is he used what people knew at the time. Yeah. Yeah. The time in the world, yeah. he used that. And you know when I say hoarding what I mean. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. 
Yes. You know. As a matter of fact, if I say adultery, you feel that you're innocent. Right. Oh, Jesus. When I say adultery, you say, I'm innocent of that. I was born. <laughs> I don't commit no adultery. I don't commit no cheating. I don't do no booty call. I just horn. Because, because it's she husband what tackle me. And I tell him, if you want to be with me, you see this horn in game, make sure you can meet my needs. Are you with me? And then and then he's that a horny wife. And and we don't even realize that we damage each other. Sometimes these scars are there. The sister and the brother, his wife is next to him, but the child that his sister has is not the wife for him. And God does give some people that as a chastisement. To let the church know. That's right. The, the, the God tell Hosea, go and marry the prostitute. Yes. Uh-huh. I want the I want, watch me. I was sure what the captain's doing. The captain and them, they 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 they, they, they bring the hallowed boy. Right. Yep. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at what happened to Judah. The white command. She she you see, you see, we all have weaknesses. Everybody, don't tell me you're holy and you're sanctimonious. Oh, you know. just, just, give, just give me a chance to put something in your way. Uh, daughter, what's your age? Oh. <laughs> what's your age? Oh. Yeah? 37. All right, I can use you. Let me tell you something. In my days, and I'm finishing here. In my days, if I see you and I like short, red, and sweet, <laughs> all I need to know is what you like. Uh-huh. 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 If you like policeman, <laughs> if you like fireman, <laughs> if you like fireman, I want. Are you with me? Yes. 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 If you like, if you like accountant, I think let me a tie, please. <laughs> Financially, <laughs> fi- financially, you know, um, I'm able, I'm able, you know, you know, you never, you never, you never, you never, um, you never, you never, you never saw the Jamaican sing. I'm not in a position to maintain you. <laughs> about that you'll never talk about. But I want to tell you, uh, don't underestimate, don't underestimate this woman of God. Trust me, she might be firm, she might be rough, she might be blunt, she might be like me. But I'm telling you, if she given you advice, take it. Hallelujah. If she's given you advice, take it. It might not all be sweet in your mouth. It might be bitter in your stomach. 
But trust me, at the end, you'll have to go and say, um, I'm sorry. And this is just God using me to enforce who she is. Hallelujah. Don't judge a book that he covered to her. Many people will be looking for signs, but there shall be no sign but this, that you shall see the Son of Man coming with clouds in power, might, and glory. In no other name but in Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.